أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على على رسوله الكريم عما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته peace be on those who follow guidance I'm making this video to uh, refute uh, David Wood a uh, Christian uh, missionary who uh, take upon himself to uh, to prove uh, the Muhammad Sallallahu was a false prophet and he uh, he often quote uh, the verses of the Quran and Hadith out of context and he uh, he uh, he would omit passages that prove uh, the authenticity and the uh, and the truthfulness of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and he would take like uh, bits and pieces of the Quranic verses and try to uh, prove the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi uh, was was a uh, false prophet and here um, he uh, talked about like you know if uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi was indeed a prophet then he would not have been uh, killed uh, by a po poison by a Jewish woman and uh, uh, for the favor and the hadith is uh, that uh, when Khaybar was conquered and one Jewish woman did try to poison Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was informed of it. But he took a bite of uh, the poisoned uh, lamb that was served to uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his uh, companion uh, Bashar uh, was uh, also took the, the piece from the same lamb and he immediately felt it and he died uh, soon after. But Muhammad Sallallahu did survive for at least the three more years and he only died at an appointed time. So which also proved that Muhammad Sallallahu uh, was not killed because of the poison. Though he, he felt uh, the effect of the poison, but he was certainly not killed because of the uh, poison. And he only died a natural death and we have like several hadith when uh, Jibreel Islam did came to him and uh, you know and the, the angels of death came to him and asking his permission whether he wants to live in this world or to uh, uh, go and uh, meet uh, meet Lord Allah Zawaja. So the point here is the if Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi indeed was a, was a false prophet as claimed by David Wood, then we would not have seen uh, the fulfillment of the numerous prophecies of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as described by Muhammad Sallallahu that Muslims will conquer Persia, Muslims will conquer uh, Constantinople, uh, which already taken place. And then in the end, as uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, said, in the laws of Wali al Arz, when the Mashari Kuhawa Mahari Bo and Moses Hassan said, like the entire earth have shown to me, and uh, and my Ummah will uh, conquer the east of the east and the west of the west. And we see it happening today, and you know, like uh, Islam is rising, and we have seen that all the other ideologies have failed uh, the mankind and have failed to improve their lives and failed to improve uh, their standard of living and fail to provide them even the basic necessities as we see and uh, we see that the poverty is rising so the it's only a matter of time before uh, islam will become dominant in the world to uh, because jews like they they indeed kill the prophets like oh as we see the history is proven that they they try to kill uh, zachariah alayhi salam and they tried to uh, crucify Jesus and from the Christian perspective they did crucify him excuse me so like in the Matthew it says like oh Jerusalem Jerusalem though that killed the prophets and the stones them which are sent unto thee how often would I have gathered thy children together even as a hen gathered her chickens under her wings and ye would not Jesus himself recognized that the Jews killed the prophets. So uh, even if we were to assume that Muhammad Sallallahu was killed through poisoning by the Jews, this is still nullify the argument of uh, David Wood. Uh, that uh, as as shown, like you know, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as as I mentioned earlier, the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did die three years later, not immediately as his companion Bashir uh, uh, 
uh, died immediately after after eating the the poisonous food. So this proved that Muhammad it was indeed a prophet of God and he was not a liar as claimed by David Wood and a lot of other uh, Christian missionaries and other Jews and other enemies of Islam they they made this their whole purpose of life to uh, criticize Islam to uh, uh, to uh, undermine uh, Islam and uh, it's their purpose of their life and as Allah Zawajal says they will fail and uh, Allah says, The religion of Islam, the religion of Allah will prevail no matter how, how much the mushrikeen are detested. Is the words from uh, Surah Tawbah. So.